Hey, big head! What's going on, gang? It's your girl, Big Head Ari, back again with another banger. Okay, and in this video, Alani was walking around and doing the most, so she wanted to pop in and say hi. <laughs> She's so cute. So, guys, I had this Donald Trump wig hanging around my house, okay? And um, I did a video with it like a couple hundred videos ago. And I'm like, I need to do something with this wig. So, I have been watching how to dye a synthetic wig, wig, wig by using the watercolor method. And I'm like, okay, I have a 613 synthetic wig sitting around. Let me go ahead and try this watercolor method. So, I went to my nearest beauty supply store. I got me some shears. And um, as you can see, it is very runny looking from Players Club. It's just, it looks stank. So I'm going to try to cut it into a pixie cut. Hold on, mama. I'm going to try to cut it into a pixie cut. And... Come here, baby. And yeah, guys. I'm going to try to cut this thing into a pixie cut. And I had to cut her down a lot. And I was surprised at how good she was cutting with the shears because... Okay. There you go. So yeah, guys, I went ahead and cut her down, and then I'm going to boil <coughs> some hot water. Excuse my daughter, guys, because I'm trying to do this voiceover, you know, while I'm preparing dinner for us. <laughs> so I went ahead and boil some hot water. You want to boil it really, really warm, and then you want to get a bowl. I did use some Sparks hair color. It's very long lasting and bright, but honestly, I could have went with something else. But guys, um, I went ahead and got the color Key Lime. And you're gonna go ahead and pour the color into the hot water. And make sure when you're doing this, you have a cover on your counter or wherever you're working at, because these bright colors do stain. So you want to go ahead and pour your hot water into the container, then you want to go ahead and put the color into the hot water bowl. And I told you to have like a cover on your countertop or whatever because I did get color splatter onto my white wall so I had to let bleach sit on the wall and the counter so I could get that spot out. So I definitely want to help you guys prevent stains in your kitchen or bathroom counters. So I didn't pour the whole thing in initially. I did wait until I put the hair in the water to, to like squirt the whole thing in there. And I also brought some fabric dye from Walmart. It was 99 cents. It was fabric dye by Tulip. Um, and um, it was like a color boost. So because I noticed when I put this key lime in, like the hair was turning kind of like a yellowy looking color. It wasn't like turning neon green like I wanted it to. So that's why I added the dark fabric dye. and dip the hair in there and then you want to make sure it's covered all the way with the color of your choice and you can also use Ritz fabric dye from Walmart you can use Adore rinse color you could do use um kiss rinse color you can use um any type of fabric dye so it's definitely a couple of options when it comes to using the watercolor method and you want to go ahead and get you some fabric softener so that after you do this big dip and you rinse it off you can go ahead and saturate it with the fabric softener and it will go ahead and soften up the synthetic hair for you so that you can detangle it and work through it
like I said guys I did um put some fabric softener in there on it and I worked it through and then I rinsed it out and I'm going to get some setting lotion and some wrap papers and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap her down or slick her down rather and let her dry overnight in front of my window and then in the morning I'll probably go ahead and curl her down Okay guys, so it is the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and take the papers off and kind of comb her out. And I did let her air dry, so I don't need to blow dry her. But guys, I found that I actually was able to style her better when I put her on my hair. But I did try to style her on the wig um, head just for the purposes of this video. But she was kind of short, you know, so styling her on the wig head was a little difficult. But um, she did dry pretty good, and I noticed that the fabric softener did leave her soft. She wasn't hard or nothing, but I think the fabric softener made her too soft to where, like, styling it was a little hard. But um, I still recommend using the fabric softener.
Okay guys, um, to complete this look, I'm going to be doing everything green. So I did do my eyebrows in an olive green cover color. And I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Tribal Palette. I'm gonna start off my transition color with a dark green. And then I'm gonna use the Milani Gilded um, Green Palette and kind of shade down from like a teal, the dark green to a teal blue to like a lime green. And then I'm gonna go in with the neon um, loose pigment that I have by Badass Cosmetics. And guys, I didn't get a lot of footage when doing my makeup because my baby, she was, as you can see, she was on my hips. So, you know, you gotta learn how to do things with one hand and really fast. It was almost her nap time. So she was like, oh my gosh, mom, hurry up. But guys, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much if you made it thus far. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Definitely drop a comment down below for me and tell me what you think about this look or if you wanna see me do any other looks or any, um, you know, hair looks and stuff. Um, I'm gonna be making a wig soon, so stay tuned for that video, cause I have some Sheer Muse. Um, it's like a weaving system, a one complete pack weaving system, so it was only $20, so y'all know I got y'all covered. I'm gonna do a video on that. And so guys, if you're new to the channel, like I said, subscribe. If you're old, um, thank you so much for your continued support. And make sure you subscribe to my family channel, The Family Dream, on YouTube as well. We're growing really fast. But guys, yeah, like I said, I'm using that Tribal Palette by Juvia's Place and the Milani Palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and complete this look. So guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.